everyone, welcome to Taste Talks, Tri City Entrepreneurs Unplugged. I'm your host, Nitya Gupta. Flavors and cuisines are something that we all savor, and you know,、uh, keeping this in mind, we are bringing to you conversations that is all about food and personalities behind restaurants and cafes in the Tri City. So we are joined by our guest, Mr. Hardeep Singh.、Uh, welcome, sir, and.、Uh, We'll just go ahead with the first question. So, can you briefly walk us through your journey and how are you as a person today? Like, what has shaped your personality and journey today? Okay, actually, first of all, I would like to thank you for inviting me over here. I've actually lived in Australia for fifteen years, and I've、uh, worked in food industry. I've owned different restaurants in Australia for fifteen years. That made me think to open something、uh, new into my own country. And I've been planning for the last couple of years to to see what is the gap in the market, and that's where the bubble tea came into my mind. So I did my research, did all the training and everything in China, Australia. Then I、uh, opened my first bubble tea store in Mahali because it's my、uh, home state. So I wanted to open in Punjab and start my first store from Mahali, and then hopefully we can spread out in the future in the other states. Right. Thank you so much for sharing that. So, what really inspired you to bring bubble tea in Mohali? I think it's just、uh, the drinks. They're very popular in、uh, all the South East Asian countries and Western countries, especially Australia, USA, China. And this bubble tea concept is already、uh, been very popular in South of India, especially in Bangalore, Bombay, but it's not been in North India yet. So I thought. This might be a new business that might do well in the north part of India, and so far we are getting a really good response. It's good to hear. Yes, I think、yeah. um, uh, I have been fascinated by the South Asian culture. I've been、uh, I've been really、uh, you know fascinated by these drinks and stuff, and it really used to think like, okay, I'm not from Chandigarh, but it's really good to see that、uh, there's so much of、uh, you know adaptability in the culture. Yes.、Yeah. Just bringing the international cuisines and everything, so it just makes it a hot spot. Yeah, and, and bubble tea is like a variety of things. It's like thousand types of flavors. Everybody is doing their own flavors. I've done my own flavors, and depends on the market where we are. Right. So we have to make the the drinks according to that. Sure. Okay. So my next question to you is that how has Australia played a role, you know, in bringing that bubble tea culture from Australia to India? Well, I think、uh, even in Australia, this this, this bubble tea concept basically started from Taiwan in early '80s,、right. and later on it is spread to different countries, especially、uh, USA, and then to other countries. And in Australia, from last ten years, this business has been doing really well. And what I've noticed from last three four years, there's a lot of Indian community in Australia. I've got a lot of friends. They all have tried bubble tea and they love it. So I thought, why it wouldn't be popular in India as well? It would be. Yes, yeah. We have a good taste for food and I mean, of course, drink. So yes, yeah. Okay,、um, that brings me to my next question. So, what challenges and successes have you faced? You know, in adapting bubble tea in the Indian market. I think the the biggest challenge is the sourcing of ingredients. Right. Because I I don't like to use the syrups or flavors. I want to make the authentic bubble teas. So that's why I brew the teas. So I've imported the teas, and I also want to use the real fruits, which I try to use in most of the drinks. But still, you know, you can't source the real fruits all seasons. It's a bit hard for me to source all fruits which I want the good quality one. So that's the biggest challenge. I think in the future we might be able to get that.、Uh, maybe import the raw materials as well as、yeah. as much as I can. But so far, I think the journey has been so、uh, so well that、uh, not many challenges are faced so far. That's nice. And how do you see the bubble tea industry, you know, evolving in the Indian market and here in Chandigarh and Punjab?、Um, actually, yeah. See, I've been my store has opened like seven months ago, and、uh, every month、uh, sales are going up. Which is slowly growing up, so that means I can see a lot of new customers every day, and they are returning customers as well. So people are adapting to this new concept, and they're very fascinated about these drinks,、right. and they like the taste. And I think definitely there's a future of it. Right, I, I agree. I mean, I think it's the slow growth, but the steady growth that we. I think it's just awareness. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. There are more and more people are aware they are coming to the store and trying it and right. coming back. That's that's nice. Yeah. And um, like, how do you make sure that you are standing out against your competitors in the industry? And like, you know, how does that make your brand authentic? First of all, I would say is the quality. Right. I never compromise with the quality. You know, I I keep a check on all the drinks when the staff make it. And when you talk about authenticity, uh, I don't like to use the premixes or the syrups. I minimally use the syrups or premixes. Normally, I just use the real fruits and also uh, the teas, the where the bubble tea stands for. So I import all those teas from different countries, right. and we brew them, and then we make a make a, a bubble tea out of it. And then you can see the real taste when you taste it. So it's just not the I would say fake taste. It's a real bubble tea. That's nice to hear, and I think people nowadays prefer the. Yes, they appreciate it. Like yeah. what I've been uh, getting a feedback is that people really appreciate the taste and the quality, and they're happy to pay the price for it. Yeah, we are very genuine with the pricing, anyways. Yeah. yeah. That's nice to hear. So um, we'd also love to compliment you on the ambience of the cafe, and I think uh, it's one of the most. Aesthetic cafes that I've seen so far. So, uh, what inspired the overall concept and design, and how did you execute it? Actually, uh, before opening the the cafe, I did a lot of research. I went to China to see how those people are doing, bringing a new concept into the city. If I would open in a small booth, people wouldn't appreciate the the quality of it. So, to get the people into the store, I wanted to do a good tier of the cafe so that people can come. And then they can try the the drinks. I initially I was thinking that I'll just focus on the Gen Z generation, young kids and everyone. So they like to come and take the pictures and you know put it on Snapchat what the the new generation is doing. But I was surprised that uh, I'm getting customers from all age groups. So it's just not the young people. So people above forties, fifty, they're coming and enjoying the drink as well. But I think the the main reason for the ambience was that. I wanted people to come into the store because of ambience first, and then they can try the drink. That's that's I think a nice idea to implement because I think uh, you attract them based on what they would yeah. prefer to. Yeah, it was just my passion actually. I always like to do uh, the best, you know. So right. in everything, I, w- I like to do the best, and uh, and I want to make it a bit more futuristic because the drinks are future. The upcoming uh, concept, which will be very. Uh, Very popular in next three four years. That's that's so. Um, I think I appreciate that thought process and the perspective that you have yeah. for uh, you know opening this cafe and making the ambience so cool. So that brings to my me to my next question. And I think um, you know when you mentioned about the different age groups, so Punjab is also known for its vibrant food industry, and your people here like to enjoy a lot of spices. Again, on the other hand, they love to explore new things. So and I think the Punjabi food is so popular among. People across India and definitely yes. in foreign as well, right? So, how have you, uh, you know, um, maintained that uh, you'll be using the local ingredients in order to uh, make sure that the local food um, and the local, you know, taste is incorporated in the quality? I think because uh, it's mainly a drink, so my main concept is a bubble tea. So people either like spicy yeah. or they like sweet, right? So in the drinks, I could make the sweet, <laughs> uh, but I try to do all the sugar levels very moderate, so they can just add on the sweetness. But when we made all these new drinks, um, I try to make sure that they suit the Punjabi palate, you know. Right. So yeah, they're liking the taste anyway. But I have actually first couple of months after getting a feedback from the people, I introduced new drinks which are uh, going like crazy, especially that blueberry bliss. <laughs> People love that. Nice. I, I mean, I, it's great to hear. Uh, you know, when, when it comes to branding and the brand equity that you maintain among your customers, so taking that feedback and incorporating yes, that into yes. your menu, so, it's something. So we, we I added yeah. like twenty new drinks after getting a feedback from the people, and they're loving those drinks. Yeah, that's overwhelming and that's appreciable. Yes. Yeah. What's one interesting fact or a surprising fact related to bubble tea that you want our viewers to know? And uh, what's the health benefit related to bubble tea? Yeah, the first of all, I would say uh, there's nothing that that is unhealthy in the drink, except from I can say is bit of sugar level. Uh, but we have sugar level in all the drinks, anyways. 
But because I'm using the real teas, so they're healthy anyway. So I use uh, real green tea, which is I've imported, so that is really healthy. Especially I'm using in the iced teas, right. so it's more refreshing. So it's just not water based. So they are uh, having a real teas into that. I have a, one of the tea which is matcha. A lot of people are aware of it now, right. and I use the pure imported matcha. So it's not sugar based, and it has a lot of health benefits there high uh, in antioxidants, low in caffeine. So there are health benefits as well in most of the bubble days, yeah. Right. Thank you so much for sharing that. I think it's important also because people like nowadays like to research about what they're eating and drinking. And then I think the bubble tea is one of the side um, drinks that people really enjoy uh, these days. And I think it's a favorite for everyone who goes out there. Yes, yeah. So what was your first thought when you heard about our organization, Girl Bottle? Actually, initially I thought it would be something which is related to women empowerment or uplifting women across the maybe uh, India level. But when I got to know there's a lot of things you guys are doing, so I was okay. quite surprised, So, which is amazing what you're doing. Thank you so much. Coming to the concept of the whole cafe, uh, what inspired you to come up with the logo 91? Yeah, that's a question I've been asked by hundreds of customers. See, because I started this concept from Australia and Australia country code is 61. So if you invert 6 into uh, 9, right. it comes 91. And okay. T comes from bubble tea. And that bird uh, represents is a, it's a mechanical bird, which is a native bird of Chandigarh. Okay. So that's the whole idea. So that that's like a story that we started the bubble tea from Australia and then India and especially from Chandigarh. Yeah, I got us. it now. Yeah. I mean, that's an interesting concept. Uh, it's a short name, but I think it's it, it carries a huge Yeah, it has story. some bit of story behind it. Right, yeah. right. So um, what kind of food uh, do you also serve with the bubble tea and that you might have a recommendation for our viewers when they visit your cafe? We have a variety of food items uh, available uh, in our cafe. We're actually more focusing on a healthy food as well. So we have a lot of, uh, we introduced uh, the burrito bowl and burrito wrap, which is like a Mexican food, but we had like avocado rice, so it's quite healthy and mm -hmm. yummy. And avocado salads that we are doing. So there's a lot of variety in the salads as well. And healthy sub sandwich that we are doing and all the snacks we are doing. But the most popular people are liking is the sub sandwich and avocado salads. I think, yeah, that's uh, quite a favorite among yes, yeah. all the types of customers. So, yeah. so, if you had to choose one food item or cuisine that best represents our organization, what would it be and um, what? I would say it's like a peach mango iced tea. Okay. So, uh, a combination of a uh, few ingredients. So, I think you're doing a lot of stuff. I think that will symbolize to our uh, peach mango tea. Thank you so much for answering that. Thank you, Hardeep, uh, for joining us today. Um, it was nice, lovely, and I think a refreshing talk uh, that we had and we enjoyed the conversation. Um, we wish you all the best. And Thank you very I much. think we'll soon be visiting. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank, Thank you. you.